as a historian, I've studied Locke's history along with Great Lakes history. They're uh, part of what the Great Lakes system is. They're, they're, they're something that you can't work without. Um, they're essential. The Sioux Locks, I think, are arguably even more important than they, than they have been over time uh, because some of the commodities that we use in the United States and in, in Canada only can come to the lower um, parts of the Great Lakes region uh, via, via ship. So to give you an example of how important they are, when uh, World War II started, J. Edgar Hoover wrote a letter um, off to the president and said, look, um, of all the sites uh, in the United States that needs to be secured first, the Sioux locks need to be secured first. Why? Because all of our iron ore domestically comes down through those locks. Our whole steel industry is dependent on it, as well as the coal and the other resources that come through there. To look at it even another way in the international scope, because so much grain flows through there um, from, the, from the west, uh, that grain just doesn't feed people here uh, in the United States. It's shipped all over the world. It supports the world's population. Still, the middle section of the United States and Canada are the world's breadbasket. We're the people who make, who feed everyone with grain. And if the Sulaks were to be shut down, that would essentially come to an end. So economically, any kind of shutdown or even a, a, a delay in use of the, great, of the, the Sioux Locks essentially shuts down much of the Great Lakes trade and is crippling for our economy, for Canada's economy, and potentially could have a, a world impact. 